From the studio of FairberryTV.com in downtown Fairbury, Nebraska, it's the Thursday Night News with Stacy Boyce and Jim Headley, brought to you by the Fairbury Journal News. Hello and welcome to the Thursday Night News on FairberryTV.com. It's May 16th and I'm Stacy Boyce. And I'm Jim Headley. Tonight we will take a look at what was in the safe at the courthouse, how the sequester is affecting the area, Tri-County support for their beloved music teacher, and the new cupcake bakery opening in downtown. Here's our top story. Many documents were recovered from the safe that was opened on Wednesday, May 8th. There was speculation that the safe contained records from when Jefferson County was Jones County before 1867. No Jones County documents were found in the safe. However, officials are still sifting through the historical documents that were there. Grade books from the 1890s and annuals from the Jansen and Endicott schools were among the documents found in the safe. There were also contracts for school teachers which showed how much they were paid per month. The oldest document found in the safe is dated 1882. It was the foundation for some of the first school districts in Jefferson County. Maps and atlases from the early 1900s were also found in the safe. Tri-County prepared their year-end Pops concert just like every other year. However, this year was different. Their beloved music teacher, who is usually responsible for organizing the concert, Karen Reynolds, revealed that she was battling ovarian cancer and would not be able to attend the concert because her surgery was scheduled for the same day. Her co-workers and students decided to do something very special to show their support. T-shirts with the quote, where words fail, music speaks, were ordered for the event. Special steps were also taken so that she would be able to enjoy every minute of the concert. Music boosters recorded and took pictures for her to view when she fills up to it. Video of the Pops concert can also be seen at FairberryTV.com. Begin your spring and summer antiquing at the Endicott Schoolhouses this Saturday, May 18, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday from noon to 4. We are full of our newest and largest inventory ever. We just returned from an eastern antiquing trip and have a lot of great new finds. There will be many other vendors joining us on Saturday selling their goods, so come enjoy the shopping. A free lunch is catered by Famous Dave's, followed by a sunset wine tasting by James Arthur Vineyards. We plan to end the day of antiquing in the country with fabulous hors d'oeuvres. Visit DarrowAntiques.com for location and driving directions to Endicott Schoolhouses, or call Howie at 402-525-3901 with questions. Score big at the Playmore Bowling Alley. Open bowling, birthday parties, blacklight bowling on Saturday nights. Randy even offers league bowling May 29 through July 31st for teams of four with flexibility to make a night of bowling up if unable to make scheduled league time. Have you worked up an appetite? Dine in at Playmore Cafe for a lunch special served Monday through Friday or a full menu any evening. How about one down your lane? Playmore Cafe has evening home delivery from 5 to 9 for just $2. Call or stop in today whether you're wanting a home-cooked meal or just wanting to play. Full salon and barbering services for the entire family. Pure Serenity Spa offers acrylic nails, manicures, and pedicures for all ages. In our spa area, enjoy many skincare services including facials, permanent cosmetics, chemical peels, and micros. Revitalize your skin with a mud wrap or salt glow while relaxing in the hydrotherapy capsule. Relax and unwind by receiving a massage of your choice by licensed massage therapist Morgan Stewart. Wheel and Deal of Fairbury offers late model low mileage vehicles, rentals, and U-Hauls for your moving needs. The smallest to largest trailers in stock, which includes cargos, flatbeds, and trailers of all types. Keep your investments protected with tri-state building carports, buildings, or barns. Look to Wheel and Deal for a new Green Mountain Grill, complete with grill accessories, rubs, and spices. Kent promises to keep you stocked with wood pellets for all of your grilling needs. Check out the Gravely and Aaron's Outdoors Power Equipment before leaving. He not only sells, but services all equipment. Kent at Wheel and Deal won't disappoint you. Drive on up north to Highway 15 in Fairbury. On May 9th, a one-vehicle rollover occurred west of Plymouth. The vehicle was a 2007 Ford Fusion driven by Michael Brown, 47, from Portsmouth, Iowa. Brown was driving westbound on Highway 4 when he apparently fell asleep. The vehicle left the south side of the road and entered the ditch. It hit a driveway and became airborne, 
then struck a ditch at the bottom of the ravine. The vehicle became airborne once more and rolled multiple times. Brown was able to pull himself from the wreckage by his own power. He was wearing a seat belt at the time of the crash. He was transported to Jefferson Community Health Center by Plymouth Rescue, where he was treated and then transported by ground ambulance to Bryan West in Lincoln. There will be 76 students graduating from Fairbury High School on Sunday, May 19th. The ceremony begins at 2 p.m. In previous years, the crowds filled the bleachers at the gym. High attendance at this event is anticipated. The graduation will be broadcasted live on FairburyTV.com, free of charge. Tetra Chiropractic is proud to announce Hydro Massage, a new experience. Hydro Massage is a therapeutic heated table that offers deep tissue massage that is controlled by the client. The Hydro Massage does not require the client to disrobe in order to receive the full benefit of the table. This affords flexibility and convenience to the hurried businessman or multitasking mother who is seeking a brief respite from their hectic day. Dr. Tetro encourages anyone to try Hydro Massage. You need not be a current patient to enjoy the benefits of this new service. Now, up until Mother's Day, he is offering a Mother's Day promotion, two sessions for $30. Hurry in now to Tetro Chiropractic, located at 414 E Street, and purchase a gift certificate to surprise that special lady in your life with this new and valuable experience. Task Collision and Restoration provides towing, recovery, full roadside assistance, and lockout services for when those unfortunate mishaps occur. TAS also works with all insurance companies providing free computerized estimates for all collision needs. We also perform glass installation and on-site chip repair. For all your towing and auto body needs, call Todd at TAS Collision and Restoration. Government sequestration has impacted local programs. Blue Valley Community Action reports that they have been finding different ways to compensate. They've had to lay off 12 different positions in Head Start and weatherization and leave two additional positions open. Jefferson Community Health Center is also facing cuts from the sequestration and the new Health Care Act. Combined, they have made it difficult for JCHC to make a budget that can handle these cuts. Public Health Solution is also feeling the pinch. Because of the cuts, they will be forced to limit or eliminate programs like immunization for young children, environmental and dental programs. The Homestead National Monument reported that services as well as hours of operation are impacted. The monument will continue to operate under the winter hours in order to help meet the budget cuts. Sometimes little pieces of heaven come in small packages. Anita Bosch and Kathy Krumi are turning their dream of opening a cupcake shop into reality. They have partnered up to transform a building at 526 Fifth Street in Fairbury into the most delicious cupcake bakery around, CK Cuppy Cakes. They have already developed more than 30 flavors of cupcakes. The partners have a goal of opening their doors by July 4th. CK Cuppy Cakes will be located right next door to the Fairbury Journal News offices in downtown Fairbury. Nicole, Kathy, and I at Sims Taurus invite you to come down and check out our cuddle barn animals. Some animals sing, some dance. These animals are so adorable. you got to see them to believe them. Ready to spruce up your walls while you are spring cleaning? We have new styles of wall tags that are sure to add that extra something to your home. There is something to please the most unique taste in living styles with our pictures and new home decor. Don't forget our personal styles for spring. We have new purses arriving daily and jewelry and hats that are sure to complement any style. The Capri Motel, it meets you coming and going. Capri has 45 rooms, smoking and non, with interior and exterior entrances for your convenience. Wheelchair accessibility is available, but it is asked to please call ahead to alert staff. Each room is equipped with refrigerators and microwaves, as well as ironing boards, cable TV, free Wi-Fi, and free local calls. Truck parking is also available with cold weather hookups. All major credit cards and corporate lodging cards are accepted. Soon to come will be the Capri Luxury Suites. Call to reserve your room now, 402-729-3317. Scott Nicholson and Curtis Dittmer have combined 52 years of experience to offer you full auto body and glass services, including free computerized estimates, 
windshield repair and replacement, lockout services, painless dent removal, and a state-of-the-art paint booth with a computerized paint mixing system, allowing for a speedy repair with work that is guaranteed on any make, model, or year. Third Street Body and Glass would be happy to deal with your insurance company for a smooth and speedy repair. Call Scott or Curtis today at 729-2311 or stop by 523rd Street in Fairbury, best known as the Old Wonder Red Store. The Fairbury Police Department will be participating in the nationwide Click It or Ticket campaign, which will begin on May 20th and ends on June 2nd. During the period, increased patrols will be made possible due to a grant through the Nebraska Office of Highway Safety. This grant will allow officers to work extra time in order to increase the enforcement of traffic laws and specifically increase patrol for seatbelt violations. The Fairbury Police Department hopes to increase the number of people wearing seatbelts. The Rock Creek State Historic Park is sponsoring a free children's fishing clinic and free park entry day on Saturday, May 18th at the Alexandria State Lakes. No permits are required to enter the park. This access will hopefully draw more people to the area to see what it has to offer. Registration for the free children's fishing clinic begins at 9.30 a.m. Stations around the lake will feature people who will teach them how to clean fish, how to use bait, and many recipes that include fish. Pulls, bait, and tackle will be provided if needed. Volunteers for this event are always needed. If anyone would like to volunteer, contact the Rock Creek State Historic Park at 402-729-5777. Also on this day, the Optimist Club is sponsoring the Thomas Wright Family Fishing Day at Crystal Springs Park. Registration for this event begins at 10 a.m. If people are not able to bring their own pool, they will be supplied with one while supplies last. People are urged to register early. Did you know MSA Promotions of Fairbury does in-house screen printing and embroidery and carries Jeff's spirit wear? Stop by and get yours today. Have you seen iGen 4, the latest in high-speed digital color printing presses? Exceptional quality with shorter run on digital jobs. Email your file for even quicker turnaround time. No job is too small for the iGen. We are prepared to print from postcard size to anything as large as 26 inches. McBattis also features a Kongsberg digital die cutter, lightning fast for profitable digital short run production. Try McBattis for your specialty cutting needs. McBattis Printing, ready to meet all your printing needs, from printing to die cutting right down to the folding and gluing. Call us at 402-729-3722. Hi, this is Holly Richardson with Need Therapy, established since 2007 as a licensed massage therapist. Since becoming a mom, my life has become very busy but rewarding. I am now pleased to be announcing a new technique to my practice known as myofascial release. I will hold my certification as of April 8th and would be pleased to answer any questions or to inform you more about the bodywork. Right now I am solely practicing in Hebron, running Monday through Thursday, so give me a call and take some time for yourself. Space is limited. Thank you all for your dedication, support, and patience. Area schools are preparing for the state track meet on Friday, May 17th. Nine students from Fairbury have qualified to compete in the meet on Friday. Diller Odell will also have nine students competing in this event. Meridian will be represented by six students, and Tri-County will have one student competing. These students will be going to the state track and field competition at Omaha Burke. So that's the news this week from Fairbury. Thank you for joining us. Please keep an eye on FairburyTV.com all week for updates on our latest stories and enjoy our live streaming of Fairbury's graduation on Sunday. Have a great week and don't miss the Saturday morning show with Kristen and Jenny. Good night. Have a good week. Welcome to TNN. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Peter's pants. <laughs> <laughs> It's the only way you can get a warm feeling around here. Dude, is to you scared him, you clean it. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs>